what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some ARK, doing some tutorials on the island in preparation for the vanilla release next month. If you guys do enjoy these videos, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell to get all the notifications if you haven't done so already. So, ooh, is the sun coming up? Uh, you hold H, by the way, and you can see the time and day and all that on here. Um, so, today, what I want us to do is get into the real heart of Ark. And what the real heart of Ark is, is taming things. Oh, we gotta tame things? Who would the one to ride around on a dinosaur? So, the first thing you need to do is get ready. Um, some things are easier than others. Oh, there's a little dodo there. Let's go kill that dodo. I want to kill that dodo because I want to steal its hide. Because um, you will definitely need some hide to craft saddles and whatnot so you can actually ride your dinos. Uh, but we're actually thinking I'm gonna, we're gonna try to tame a Triceratops. Uh, we could do something simple like tame a dodo. It's a very similar method to how you do it, but it is much, much easier. Personally, taming a dodo early on can be fun, but doesn't really do a whole lot for you. Taming a trike, however, is definitely a game changer early on in the game. They're everywhere and they're not that difficult to tame. The way you tame most things is by knocking them out and then feeding them while they're asleep. However, there is a number of creatures that are tamed using different methods, and we will get into those as well, but right now we're just gonna cover the basic knockout tame. So early on in the game, the best thing that you can do for yourself is first of all, get a little armor is always nice. Let's go ahead and put that on. Beautiful. And then what we wanna do is actually craft a slingshot. So where's our slingshot? Right there. Uh, let's actually make two of them just in case, in case one breaks and we don't wanna carry on the materials to repair it. We will put one on slot four and one in slot five. And then what we actually use to knock these guys out is taking slingshots and shooting stones right at their faces or bodies or whatever. Um, trikes actually have a little bit of armor, so they actually take a little bit less, uh, torpor damage. Torpor is the stat that is knocked out, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it, they take a little less of their head, because they have, are armored. But, nonetheless, we just want to go shoot them a bunch of times until they fall asleep. And then I'll kind of show you guys what happens after that. Um, but check this out. So if I hit I, you can see the very bottom, I have torpidity. When my torpidity gets up to a certain level, I knock out. For dinosaurs, is when it fills up all the way. So... The more we hit him in the head, the more it goes up. But we're still battling it because at the same time, it's slowly dropping. So we want to keep hitting them and don't let it drop all the way down to zero until they get knocked out. And you might ask, how, well, how many times do you have to hit it? Well, there's a huge range of factors. How much time there is in between, uh, how much torpidity they have, what their level is, the whole bit. So I'm actually going to go ahead and gather up some more stone to make sure that I have enough because I'm going to have to hit these suckers a bunch of times and then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys, I have got rocks <laughs> galore. And one thing you do have to consider, ooh, that's only level four, it's really low, it should be really easy to knock out. What's this one? Uh, one thing you do have to consider is when you do hit one Triceratops, all the other ones in the area who are right next by will also come attack you. So you wanna be careful of that. Now you can hit them in the face and run away and try to keep doing that. I find an easier method to be, get somewhere they can't reach you and then shoot them in the face. Now, sometimes you think they can't reach you, but they can. And so watch out for that. Okay, let's try to do it over here, I think, is going to be a good spot. Uh, let's see. Will that guy be able to find us up here? Let's try to hit that guy first, the slightly higher level one. We missed. Okay. Uh, okay, let's shoot this one. Maybe that'll track both. Uh, we missed. That was a terrible shot. Okay, this thing does not go very far, if you haven't noticed. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. Oh, aim up a bit. Get him! There it is. Now he's angry. Oh, we're hungry. That's a bad thing. They do run away when their torpor gets to a certain point. Oh, and there he goes. He just knocked out. Holy crap. Finally. So we only have 72 arrows left, so it took quite a bit. Now let's go ahead and look at him and see what happens. So. Uh, so he looks all bloody. Because he did a lot of damage. His health is almost dead. You can hit F to access his inventory. At the very bottom, you'll see his torpor dropping. When it gets to zero, he will wake up. Now, we do have taming turned up, so I can tame things quicker on this server. I have tame and experience turned up. Everything else is normal. Ooh, watch out for that Sarko over there. That's dangerous. But the way you tame it, this guy is an herbivore, so you're going to tame him with berries. Any berry will do. Some people tell you medjo berries are better. Um, I don't know for sure if that's true or not. From what I understand, that is possible. But... Any berry will do, especially early on in these lower levels. Um, that Sarko is really making me nervous. But what you want to gather is all the berries you can, and then also Narco Berries. Narco Berries you can use to keep it asleep, and I'll show you how that all works in just a moment here. So we'll start with what we have. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. We're going to start by running from this, uh, 
This uh, crocodile is chasing us. That's what we're gonna do. Oh no, don't eat our guy. Well, we're gonna have to knock something else out now, you stupid, stupid alligator. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and run from him, <laughs> gather up everything we need, and let's do it again. All right, guys, so we have found ourselves a level 35 trike pretty close to the base. And so we're just even aggro that guy from here and get him to come over here so we can uh, knock him out. There we go. So hopefully he can get himself over here and then we can uh, just shoot him over and over again right here. I think he shouldn't be able to reach us right here. Ooh, let's get, ooh, duh, duh. it's a little nerve wracking, it's a little bit. And so hopefully we should knock this guy out and no stupid alligator is gonna come and eat him this time. And there he goes, he's knocked out, heck yeah. So now, oh, something is attacking me and I'm not a big fan of that, holy crap. Man, and this fog is killer. I hate fog and arc. It's one of the worst things. So what you do is you throw berries in his inventory to tame him up. So we've already gathered some. We will gather a few more. And then you'll see, if you check him out, you go up to him and hit F, and you can see, oh, can this guy just freaking leave me alone? Dear Lord, go away. All right, guys, so I've gathered a bunch of berries. I want to show you how this works. So first of all, like torpor at the bottom, his torpidity is dropping. When he gets to zero, he's going to wake up. The way we combat that is by gathering narco berries, throwing them in his inventory. We can right click and consume when it's in his inventory or hit E over and he will eat one. That'll increase his torpor by, I believe it's about eight. So you can just keep feeding him these. You gather and feed him so that way he'll stay asleep. His food though is the next biggest thing. So his food's been dropping because I've been gathering berries. But when you put berries in his inventory because he is an herbivore, he will eat them and that'll make him tame up. Now our settings on this server um, the only things that are different than, than of a regular vanilla official server is that our taming speed is turned way up and our experience is turned a little bit up. Um, so we'll tame up way faster for tutorial's sake. So what you do is you drop berries on him. Uh, let's try and drop the medjo berries and you'll see his taming bar go up. See that? It's only soft for a second because their speeds are so high, but it goes up and we'll have to eat a bunch of times to tame up. Um, now we have ourselves a triceratops. We can hold E and we can uh, go to behavior and make him either, let's, oh, let's do that again, E. And you can make him follow us, you can make him wander around on his own, which don't use that for anything except for breeding, which we'll learn about later. Change how close he'll follow you, make him attack your target, etc. You can also go to his uh, options and you can neuter him so he can't be bred or change his name. Uh, you can also go to uh, the harvest settings and turn off his be able to harvest. And I'll show you what that means in a minute or you can make him follow you. So what you wanna do right now is make him follow. So you look at him and I like to hit T is the standard and he will follow you wherever you go. So let's go ahead and bring him back to our base. Now they do get stuck on things. They're not necessarily the smartest things in the world, all the dinos in the game. Let's go and get him back to base and then we'll go ahead and build a saddle. All right, we've got our guy back to base. And uh, so you can also use other kinds of whistles as well. So T is follow, U is stop. Semicolon will make him passive. So he will not attack anything. You can also just hold T and it'll show you all the different things you can do. So you can do all sorts of things here, okay? So first, let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to make a saddle. So I've already learned it through our Ingrams, I believe. We can type in trike saddle. Yes, we have. And now let's go ahead and craft it up. What does it take? We're going to need hide, wood, and fiber. Now looks like we have enough fiber and we've got enough wood, but we're short on hide. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill a few things and gather some hide and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, I brought you back for this because this is probably one of the first aggressive dinos you'll be able to kill. It is a Dilo, a Dilophosaurus or whatever. It's a spitting dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Um, the easiest way to kill these things is with a spear and they will chase you around and they will spit green goo at you. So you just gotta dodge it. See, there it goes. Uh, if he does it again, I'll let it hit me so you can see what it's like, even though it might cost me to die. Oh, there's two, that's bad news. But spitting in a circle, hitting with a spear like this. Oh, missed me. <laughs> Let's just try to survive here for a minute. Spear's breaking. Usually you can get away. So there's one dead. They have a bad turning radius. Every dinosaur has a bad turning radius in this game. So he gets me and I see this and I can't move as fast for a moment, which is bad for trying to stay alive. There we go, they're both dead. You can see in the bottom right corner, the timer for this slowdown, it'll go away. And then I can take my hatchet out and I can harvest them. All right, I'm gonna harvest a few more things. Two hide, what kind of garbage? Uh, and get a bunch more hide and then I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, we are back at base. We have enough materials now to go ahead and make up that Triceratops saddle. So you can find it right here and double hook it and it'll craft up. And we'll assume that's go ahead and drop the rest of the materials back in these random boxes. I just kind of grabbed everything so I didn't have to count out what everything was. And now I've got ourselves a trike saddle. 
So now we go ahead and take this trike saddle, go up to our guy and hit F to access his inventory, or E uh, will also open it up in this case. And then we can drag that saddle into his saddle slot. And now you hit E to ride him and we've got ourselves a dino and you walk around just like you would yourself. Um, you can hold shift to sprint. And also you can hit F to access their inventory and level them up as well. But one of the best thing about dinos besides the fact that it's awesome to ride around on a dinosaur, you can actually use this dino to harvest bushes. And look at, look at all those berries he gathers. Now your berry gathering is amazingly higher. Um, and that's a huge benefit. Also he'll harvest trees. And I believe he gets mainly thatch and a little bit of wood. Yeah, see, so you, now you can harvest thatch and wood so much faster than you could by yourself. You can also level this guy up, make him faster, give him more stamina. His stats are in the very top right of the screen. Uh, for trikes, I do like to up their speed and stamina quite a bit, especially in the beginning. Um, and weight, obviously, if you're going to be gathering a ton with them. But look how much stuff we're gathering so much faster, and now we can build things way better. But anyways, guys, for today, I do think that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions or ideas for other tutorial videos, go ahead and leave them in the description below. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys coming out with me. You can also check me out on our social medias, or Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, or Google+, Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. Check my own Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah. Um, I also have a link to a Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. But anyways, guys, like I said, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. Until next time, I will see you later.